Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. Wanted to show you an interesting thing I did a little research on last night. January can be wild. You see there at the top. So what I did is I looked at last January. On January the 1st last year, it was 40 degrees on the 1st. Yesterday, we hit 48, so kind of close. The 5th, the 6th, the 7th, and the 8th last year were in the 50s. Well, we're in the 50s right now. But look what happened at the end of the month. The 29th and the 30th and the 31st all had sub-zero lows, including the 11 below for a record low on the 30th. My point is, January can be wild. Just because it starts out warm, which it is, doesn't mean we don't have plenty of winter. So hang in there, winter lovers. we got plenty of winter ahead. 52 degrees was our high today, but 64, the record high. We said that back in the year of 2000, 20 years ago. 39 was our low this morning, but 7 below, and that was just two years ago in 2018. So, yeah, it's still going to get cold. There's no doubt about that. Precipitation, we haven't had anything here at the TV station yet. Some of you in the south, maybe some sprinkles showing up here early, but that's really about it. Sunrise, sunset for tomorrow. We've got 9 hours, 28 minutes of daylight tomorrow on the River Stage in Terre Haute, 14.2 and it's holding steady. Right now at the airport in Terre Haute, 48, winds are south at about 10, pressure dropping 2970 as low pressure develops south of here and moves in. Temperatures are mild, 40s to near 50, got a 50 over there in Effingham. So again, the second day of the month already looking at really mild weather. Storm to the south, pulling moisture up into the area. And for us, we've seen that in the form of the cloud cover initially, and now some light showers trying to move into the south. Bigger storms are developing. See this line here? And what happens sometimes is kind of like a little roadblock. When you get these big storms, Storms developing and moisture coming out of the Gulf, they will kind of get sucked up into these storms. So I think that's going to rob some of the deeper moisture from getting up into this area. So I don't think this is going to be a huge rain event for this area, more to the south where they're getting some of those bigger thunderstorms. You can see on the satellite and the radar around here, the clouds have moved in and way down south, you see a little bit of rain showing up there. So on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, Really light, but our southern tier of counties starting to at least show maybe some sprinkles out of this. Everybody else dry so far. But those rain showers in the south, I think, will expand northward some as we get into the overnight. And we'll stop this for you, say, around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. North of I-70 even, looks like some scattered showers. It doesn't look like anything big. And I think we'll get a break for a while. Notice this by tomorrow, probably get a break for a while. And then tomorrow night and early Saturday, some colder air comes in. We may see this transition right in there to a little bit of some snow. This is early Saturday morning. I don't think it's big. I think it's mostly in the first part of the day Saturday. But some of you may get a little covering or so out of some snow. I don't think it's going to be a real big deal. But don't be surprised some snowflakes late tomorrow night into the day Saturday. The wind will change to the north as we get into tomorrow. And that north wind will bring some cooler air in. And they'll be kind of breezy on Saturday. So Saturday's going to feel more winter-like with temperatures in the 30s, maybe a little bit of some snow, and those northwest winds adding a chill to the air. Rainfall doesn't look like a whole lot, I think, more in the southeastern counties. But even down in those areas, we're looking at maybe a half to three-quarters of an inch. So... I don't think it's going to be a huge rain event. Longer term, watch what happens. Real dry Sunday, Monday. Then late Monday into Tuesday, there's a weak system right there with a little bit of a rain-snow mix. That should kick out of here. Then we'll be dry, it looks like, for Wednesday, Thursday. And then watch what happens. I want to show you longer term now. Watch the clock up there. This is Jan 10, a storm. And how about Jan 11, another one. So the idea of a busy, active pattern will continue. Here's your forecast for tonight. Cloudy for a few showers moving in. 45 the low. Tomorrow some scattered showers, but I think a lot of the day may not end up raining. 50 for the high. After that, tomorrow night into the early part of the day on Saturday, some snowflakes will be flying around, it looks like, and then another chance by next Tuesday. That's your forecast. Sports coming up right after the break.